Can you? I'm I'm really interested in your theory about something revol- involving today's headlines. Can can do you have a theory as to why um, liberal Democrats from the White House to Mayor de Blasio in New York, they all seem mortified at the expectation that there would be a 21-day quarantine for people who have dealt with Ebola patients like this nurse from New Jersey. What is it about liberals that make them so upset about, about quarantining people for the, public, for the public safety? This is extremely bizarre, and of course, the, you know, there is a theory out there, and I think it's perhaps a little extreme that somehow the, the Obama administration wants there to be Ebola in the United States. I, you know, much as I think that Obama wants to be a global redistributor of power and wealth, I find it hard to believe that anybody would actually want that. This would be a level of dementia far more than I've suspected even of Obama. But, but what uh, could explain this, Dinesh? I mean, well, I, I mean let, let, let's listen together for a moment, if you don't mind. I, I want to get your take on this. Here's the White House spokesman, Josh Ernest, railing against uh, a man mandatory quarantine. Let's listen. She didn't travel over there because she was getting a big paycheck. Uh, Presumably she's not going to be inducted into the Nurses Hall of Fame for it. Uh, She did it out of concern for her common man. Her service and commitment to this cause is something that should be honored and respected. And I don't think we do that by making her live in a tent for two or three days. I'm sorry. For with all due respect to the to the noble service of of, of helping Ebola patients in West Africa, I believe Nurse Casey Hickox has been extremely selfish, self absorbed, doesn't care about the public good. Uh, I, I, what would have been the big deal for her to to be quarantined for 21 days? Yet she calls CNN, she calls the Dallas Morning News, she makes a big deal about this. But why is the White House rallying around her and? And, and, and why are Democrats against a mandatory quarantine, Dinesh? Um, you know, Mike, this is, uh, listen, I, had n- I had not heard that statement before, and it's, it's downright lunatic uh, statement, because uh, not, uh, not to deny her original uh, service, but right. the point is, when you, get, when you contract something so serious, oh, look at the guy who came into New York, and then he was out, you know, bowling. He's a doctor, a doctor, and, and after he <laughs> felt bad, after he was fatigued, he goes bowling. I mean, the, what, a red light didn't go on somewhere in this guy's mind? Well, look, I, I don't have an explanation, but let me tell you this. This is a gift to the Republicans in the midterm you election. Bet it is. Because this is a level of, uh, this is a level of political craziness. I just hope they keep up with it. Because <laughs> the idea that the Obama administration, see, this is different than AIDS. People say, well, we're in the Reagan, you got AIDS. Wait a minute. With Reagan, AIDS was brought into the country by some Canadian pilot, evidently, and it was here before we knew it. Uh, but with Obama, he made the decision not to block flights. He made the decision not to impose these health measures, to oppose quarantines and so on. So the point being that in this case, if you do have an Ebola outbreak, this administration will bear some responsibility for having facilitated it. And, uh, and, and these kinds of statements only corroborate that. So I think you know, people are going to have to factor that in when they cast a ballot this November. 